Hello, I'm Ruth. I'm Joshua's mum, and I'm here to talk about uh, the Josh Beasley Award of Creativity, which was been set up this year to celebrate Joshua's passions and to keep his spirit of creativity alive. Uh, we set it up with the school, and it's for students at Tallis between the years of nine and thirteen. And it, it, if you've got a passion for music, for writing, for drama, or for art, so it could be photography, animation, film, it's really anything that you're you know, really interests you and you know you really really want to explore yourself as a creative person so the winner of the award can get 500 pounds and also will get a statuette and a certificate and there's two runner-up prizes of 100 pounds each as well and the award can be used not only to support your own creative development but also to give something back to the school now really that really depends on who wins it and um, with discussions with us and the school you know how, how that money's spent but anyway it's a fantastic opportunity to really develop yourself as a creative person so how the whole process has worked is that uh, there have been quite a lot of entries this year which has been absolutely brilliant and uh, they've been nominated by their friends by teachers who basically said oh this person has you know got a passion got a talent and should put themselves forward and there was a panel of judges which comprised of uh, Joshua's family friends and teachers from the school and we shortlisted people and uh, and then, uh, then we met all the shortlisted uh, young people which was brilliant we met them a couple of weeks ago and had a talk about them about their work what they wanted to do with it and they showed us more examples of their work as well and it was really lovely to meet everyone and then we made a decision on the on the winner um, so as judges what we were really looking for was uh, were people who our passionate, our commitment about the creative work they're doing. And we weren't after coursework, we were really after stuff that people were doing in their own time because they were interested, they were determined, and they really wanted to, were inquisitive, wanted to take it further. So I hope that the people that we picked, and I, I believe we have, because we had some really strong entries this year, you know, have shown all of those, those things, and we, you know, we're really pleased with it. Um, and I'm hoping that from this year that we'll get even more entries to the award next year um, and make it a really vibrant celebration of creativity in Talis and, and also through that remember Joshua. Um, I entered the Josh Beasley Award for Creativity because I knew Josh and how creatively talented he was and thought it was a wonderful way to honour his spirit of creativity. I've always felt that Talis offers a lot of support for those who are artistically talented, but perhaps doesn't encourage raw creativity and individual self-expression enough, and certainly doesn't reward it enough, so this kind of recognition was greatly needed. The work that I entered was something I did outside of the school curriculum, for the simple enjoyment of creating my own original artwork, not as something to be marked and assessed, using skills that I developed from my own individual practice, and I feel that sometimes the stress of exams and schoolwork can suck the enjoyment out of this process of creativity. I'm very honoured to have won the award and I'm very pleased that I can give something back to the school that will hopefully make a difference, such as a new colour inkjet printer that the sixth form photography students are desperately in need of. And I'd also like to make a considerable don donation to the art department that is always in need of new equipment and new materials to teach with. Being part of the Josh Beasley Award was a lot of fun. I mean, there has been a lot of suspense with like guessing who's going to win this, who's going to actually get through to the shortlist. And there was a big group of us had a bit of a nail biting time, especially when it comes to being shortlisted and being in the interviews, which was rather interesting, although a bit scary. Um, the song I wrote for Josh, I wrote shortly after the after we found out he had passed away. As I'm sure you can understand, we were all deeply disheartened and very sad. So I used my artistic capabilities to channel that energy into writing a song about how I felt. When I entered for the Josh Beasley Award I entered a demo CD that I had done prior to the award to try and further my musical career. I gave a compilation of the four best songs that I'd written excluding Josh Beasley's song because I wanted to save that in case I got through for them to hear. The money obtained from being a finalist in the Josh Beasley Award, I think should go towards hiring out a studio to record his song, which 
really is what I aimed for when I entered the competition. I wanted to basically get Josh's song heard as it is a memorial award for him. So I also aim to maybe, with some permission, run a few acoustic songwriting workshops with some children in the younger years of the school just to help show off some artistic creativity and hopefully if this is going to be an annual thing come up with some good contestants for next year's award. Um, for anyone who's entering next year I reckon the best thing is just to do what feels right really. Do what comes to you easily. To me all the songs that I write uh, the best ones come from within and putting the soul and the heart into it so they're the songs that really come easily and have more deeper meanings therefore they're the best ones as opposed to songs that I have to write for a specific purpose. Well I applied for the Josh Beasley Awards because I thought it was a good opportunity and a good idea and um, it's good to have some confidence for your talent if you have some recognition for it and um, before I was nominated, I didn't actually know I got through to the second round. So it was quite a shock to me. And um, so I think that kind of got rid of my nervousness when I was meeting the panel f um, for being judged. But um, it was a good opportunity to like talk about my writing because then it like focused me about why I do it and why I enjoy it. And um, my, my advice to anyone who wants to apply next year is just to choose something that you enjoy and that you're good at and then rather than maybe following other people because they think that you should do something else.